Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to TRHD. Today I'm back with a new gadget. It's a smartwatch guys. A lot of my subscribers were asking me to make a video on a budget smartwatch with a camera. That's why I went ahead and bought this smartwatch for you all. It's an Android smartwatch made by this company called Kingwear. The watch comes in this good looking box. It says smartwatch at the top. There is nothing else written on the box. Let's get started with the unboxing. I want to thank Banggood for sending me this product for review purpose. On opening the box we have the smartwatch at the top. It comes wrapped in a cover. Let me take it out of the box. Very nicely packed. We'll just put it aside for now and see what else do we get in the box. You get a user manual. Make sure to read it for all the info on the product. The company also gives a free screen protector with the watch. That's very nice of them. Along with that, you get a 4 pin magnetic connector for charging and data transfer and a screwdriver to open up the SIM card slot. So these were all the items we got in the box. Now let's check out the Kingwear smartwatch. The model of this watch is KW88. It's an Android smartwatch and also has a HD camera on it. Let me take it out of this cover and show you. So this is how the Kingwear KW88 looks like. It comes in four colors. I've got the black color model. The watch looks quite nice. Has a sporty design. The build quality looks solid. Here is the HD camera guys. It's on the right side below the power button. Looks like the watch comes with a pre-installed screen guard on it. Let me open the strap and show you. The strap is made of high quality silicone. It is flexible and has a dotted design to maintain the airflow. Now let's power it on and see if it's got some juice in it. By the time it boots up, let's go through the specs. The Kingwear KW88 has a 1.39 inch Super AMOLED display, has an MTK6580 quad core CPU clocked at 1.3 GHz, has 512MB RAM and 4GB of ROM, comes with a 2 megapixel HD camera and has a 400mAh battery. So the smartwatch has finally booted up, but before we check out its features, let's have a look at the design and the build quality. The KW88 has a sporty design. It has these minute markings on the bezel. The complete body of the watch is made of anodized aluminum that gives it a rich and premium look. On the right side you've got the power button. Even that is aluminum and has a nice texture on it. Below that you've got the camera with optical image stabilization and a microphone over here. The speaker is on the other side of the watch. This is how the back side looks like. You've got the charging contacts, the heart rate monitor and a SIM card slot. It's a 3G smartwatch. You can directly make calls through the watch when you install a 3G SIM on it. Also, the watch feels very light in the hand. Just weighs around 65 grams. Alright guys, I've finished setting up the watch. Let me show you all of its features. The KW88 has raise to wake display. So whenever you bring up the watch like this, it wakes up the display. By pressing the power button, you can turn the display on. So this is how the display looks like. I have to tell you, the display looks absolutely beautiful. By swiping down on the home screen, you can access the status panel where it shows you the battery level, date and time, Bluetooth and the SIM card status. By swiping left here, you can access the quick settings where you've got sound mode, airplane mode, mobile data, GPS, brightness, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. The display brightness is right now set to medium. You can change the brightness from here itself. That's very handy. And by swiping left one more time, you can access the pedometer. It shows you the total number of steps taken and the distance traveled. By swiping up from the home screen, you can access the weather. And by swiping to the right, you can check out all your notifications. To access the app drawer, you need to swipe to the left. And here are all of your apps. Now before checking out the apps, let me show you the different watch faces available on it. You can change the watch faces by long pressing the home screen. There you go. You'll get a list of all the available watch faces. Now the KW88 comes with a lot of pre-installed watch faces. Let me show them to you. You've got lots of digital as well as analog watch faces. But you're not just limited to the pre-installed ones. You also have a watch face store on it where you can download more number of watch faces. So now let's check out the different available apps on it. First let's check out the settings app. So this is how the settings look like. In the sound mode settings you can adjust all the volumes, set ringtones and notification sounds. In the display settings you can adjust the brightness, screen timeout, app adaptation and font size. You also have different app drawer styles. You can set it to either list view or round view. These are the connect settings. Here you have Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Hotspot, Airplane Mode and GPS. There's also a QR code built in the settings which you can scan to download the app that's compatible with the watch. The Android version it's running is 5.1 Lollipop. Here's the easter egg. And the security patch is June 2016. Now let's talk about the display. The KW88 has a 1.39 inch Super AMOLED display with sapphire glass on top. The resolution is 400 by 400 and has a 286 ppi. The display looks fantastic for the price. The colors are rich and vibrant. 
The screen is sharp and text looks crisp on it. The white balance of the display is also good. The touch screen works very well and as you can see you can also zoom in the image by double tapping. The viewing angles are also great. The image looks the same no matter from where you view it. And talking about the brightness, it is bright enough to be viewed easily in outdoors. Let's check out the speaker quality. Let me play a music and see how it sounds like. The audio quality is good on it. There is no distortion even at max volume, but I felt the audio output is a bit low on it. Now let me show you the different apps available on it. You've got contacts, a dedicated phone app, you can dial in any number and hit the call button to place a call, but this will work only when you install a SIM card in it. It supports only 3G networks, it doesn't support 4G. You also have messaging app. It also has remote capture guys. Remote capture is used to control your phone's camera remotely through the watch. There's also a built-in browser on it. This is Android's default browser. It works well. Let me show you how the keyboard on it looks like. It's got a full QWERTY keyboard, but the buttons are a bit small, so it may be a bit difficult to type especially for people with large fingers. This is the camera app. I'll show you that later. You also have gallery, music player, remote music playback. With this you can control and play music on your phone. There's also sound recorder, file manager. Let's open it. Out of the total 4 GB, you get about 1.62 GB of usable space. As I've installed a few apps and games, I'm left with 0.57 GB of free space. And this is how the file manager on it looks like. This is the health app. You've got heart rate monitor and the pedometer. The pedometer shows you the number of steps taken, distance traveled, calories burned, and also the total month analysis. Now let's check out the heart rate monitor. The heart rate monitor can be accessed through this app. It was working fine. The heart rate sensor was giving accurate results almost 80% of the time. The watch also has voice search on it, where you can ask any question and it'll tell you the answer. Just let me give you guys a demo. Who's the president of India? The president of India is Ram Nath Kavand. And did I tell you that this smartwatch has a dedicated Google Play Store? Yes guys, it has a fully functional Google Play Store. I've downloaded lots of apps, had no issues with them. You can search and install any app or game you want from here. You can also watch YouTube videos directly on the watch itself. You just need to download it from Play Store like I did. And this is how YouTube looks on it. Let me play a video and show you. Hey, what's up guys? This is Vimal here and welcome back to the channel. So as you guys already know that I made an unboxing video on the Zune Smooth 4 recently. That was about two weeks ago. I've also installed Antutu on it and ran benchmarks. It got a score of about 15,147, which is a pretty decent score for a smartwatch of this price. It can handle most of the basic games like Temple Run and Fruit Ninja without any problem. I'll show you the gaming performance in a moment. Let's play Temple Run and see how it performs. The game felt really smooth, the touch was responsive, I faced no lags or stutters while playing these sort of basic games, you'll definitely have a good gaming experience on it. Now let me show you the camera app. The app has a very simple interface. You just have a photo button and a video record button. It has a 6 element lens, can shoot photos in 2 megapixel resolution and record videos in 720p HD. Let me show you a few camera samples. The camera quality was below average, but still they were usable. Let me tell you, for a camera on a smartwatch of this price, the quality is totally acceptable. Here's a video sample shot on it. It shoots in 720p HD. The quality was below average but still usable and I felt the OIS was not that good in the camera. Now let's talk about the battery life. It has a 400mAh battery and I'd say the battery life was average. If you're a heavy user who plays games, watches YouTube, keeps the watch always connected to the phone, then you'd get only about 3-4 to four hours of battery life. If you use it moderately, you'll get about 6-7 to seven hours and if you use it only as a watch and nothing else, you'll get about a day's battery life and charging the watch from 0 to 100 took about one and a half hour. So that was my review on the Kingwear KW88 Android smartwatch. It's a really good smartwatch for the price. The build quality looks premium, the display is fantastic, the performance is also good and it also has a camera. The only thing is that the speaker was not that loud and the battery life was average. 
But apart from that, if you are looking for an Android smartwatch with a camera in a budget price, then you can definitely go for this one. It costs about 6,700 rupees and is available on Banggood. I'll just leave a link to that in the description box below. You can get it from there. So that was it for today. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.